Trip Larson as the Hog King of Arlen. But he wasn't born with that crown on his head. He's an entrepreneur, an innovator, and an inventor responsible for edibilizing two new parts of the pig. Thank you, thank you. My great-grandfather started Larson pork products with little more than three pigs and a killing hammer. Today, I'm proud to say, we kill more pigs than, well, pig hepatitis. There's no secret to success, really. You have to have a passion for whatever you do, whether it's processing pigs or sheep or cattle into food and food products. What's a food product? It's like food, but cheaper. Young lady, you had a question? Well, I... Yes. I find that I am too busy succeeding to keep track of all of my ideas. So, I keep them in a file. Well, actually, that's more of a comment than a question. Well, thank you. I think so, too. Well, hello. How'd you like my lecture? Did you enjoy it? I mean, did you enjoy it as much as I enjoyed having you at my lecture? I really like the part where you were excited about what you do. That's what I'm trying to find. A career I'm passionate about. Like waitressing at a steakhouse. Oh. You know, you have that special, I don't know, unspoiled quality, and something tells me I think you'd do pretty darn well in pork. How'd you like to interview for a position with Larson Pork Products? Well, I did work with pork chops in my last job. Well, but to be honest, sometimes I dropped a couple. Well, see, that's the beauty of pork. It rinses off clean. Ice cream? Hey, what are you celebrating? Trip Larson has scheduled an interview with Luann. I get to go to his house! I don't see why he has to see her at his house. You think he could be interested in something more than an interview? The pork industry is famously informal. That's how these things are done. Uh, Luann, sometimes men aren't interested in what they say they're interested in. To put it bluntly, they're more interested in something else. Oh, you mean sex? Uh, no, no, no. Yes. I'm here for my interview, Mr. Larson. I am also here for her interview. Luann, let's go ballooning. Peggy, why don't you read my autobiography? It's all so beautiful. You can see for miles. Yeah, 3.7 miles. You can see up to around eight miles if you try this monocular. It's Austrian. They make the best monocular. Something wrong? It's just that, um, well, you know so much and I know so little. I hope that doesn't make you think I'm stupid. You are not stupid. You're ignorant. What? No, you can't tell... It's a compliment. That just means you haven't had the chance to learn all the wrong things. Oh. No one's ever told me that before. Well, maybe that's because no one has ever realized how ignorant you truly are. What are you doing? That is not a proper way to interview! So how'd it go? Mr. Chip Larson is the most wonderful man in the whole world. <laughs> well, he gave you a job, huh? What position? Oh, I'm his girlfriend. 